Hello everyone, this is Moshe, the electric Israeli, and next to me is a friend that we just met literally five minutes ago, but we've been talking for weeks. Uh, this is Moshe, Hi. another Moshe from Moshe to Moshe, and uh, we, uh, he's a subscriber of my channel, and um, he also has an awesome channel which I uh, often uh, visit. It's called um, Moto Mount Moshe. Moto Mount Moshe. It's about motorcycles, and I, the last video I saw is about an electric motorcycle, which I really liked. So we met uh, through my channel, and uh, Moshe was very kind to contact me, and he invited me to his uh, beautiful home. Uh, his wife owns a um, Honda Clarity yeah. plug-in hybrid, which we're going to review soon. But uh, Moshe, I'll, I put him in my Tesla Model 3, and I want to see what he thinks about it. So Moshe, what's your impression? I, I'm, I'm <laughs> smiling, aren't I? <laughs> <laughs> That's excellent. Uh, tremendous acceleration. It's such a pretty car. Yeah. The interior looks like Scandinavian furniture. It's so... <laughs> avant-garde styling and I love it I love it this is the definitely the future it's absolutely the way of the future and I love this huge screen too. yes what? fantastic now you told me that your father has a model s yes he does he's on his second model s right now he had uh, well I can tell you the story of how we go got ahead, into sure, it go the long story it's not that long but here it is so um, I'm a BMW enthusiast I grew up with BMW since I was 22 years old I've been reading all the car magazines since I was eight years old and in May 2007, Motor Trend published an article with James Woolsey, who was the CIA director under George W. Bush. And I said to myself, I opened the pages, I said, what the hell is, is James Woolsey doing in Motor Trend? What does this have to do with cars? And the headline was something like, if you want to defeat bin Laden, buy a Prius. And the article essentially goes into his theory that every time you go to the gas station, you're essentially throwing money at the same regimes that are funding enemies. terror yeah. uh, our enemies right. and then we have to pay to fight them and so on mm -hmm. and i never thought of that before i thought of priuses as cars that were for the environment the hippies and the hippies and the green <laughs> stuff never thought of it and it really really affected me right. within a week i had an x5 4.4 v8 at the time i sold it and i got a prius mm -hmm. then i convinced my father to get a prius and we have a, a business together and we started incentivizing employees to get hybrids Nice. Then, awesome. Then when the first plug-in Volt came out, we got on the waiting list, and um, he, he had one of the first Volts. It was number 900-something. I don't remember. And um, and then, of course, he got a Tesla Model S. Mm -hmm. I got a Volt. He got a second Tesla Model S. We incentivized the employees. We have six charging stations now. We have 200 kilowatts of solar power on the roof. Any employee who, who gets a hybrid car can, or a plug-in or electric can charge for free. And so we are electric enthusiasts, not for the usual reasons, environmentalism, although we care about the environment, obviously, mm -hmm. but for the political reasons of keeping the energy that we use from here. The solar is obviously uh, for free for us, but if you even if you plug into the wall, you have natural gas, it's American gas, it's American coal, it's American whatever. Our money is staying here and that makes us happy. And that's why we do it. That is amazing. Guys, I want to tell you, I, I did not know that. I mean, we spoke a couple of times, mostly via text. I did not know that. So uh, let me share with you. I'm a headmaster of a private school and we just built a new building just a few years ago and the entire building is covered with uh, solar panels 500 panels and we have six charging station i used to be the only one who charges now that we have more everybody's getting uh, uh, into the into the thing is that's what i do i change the world i try to do it i'm willing to go anywhere so it, it's great so uh, i'm very impressed uh so um Tell me a little bit about what your impression about this car, the acceleration you like? It's great. It, 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 I mean, I'm used to driving my dad's Model S, and, and the only thing that I don't want to say, I, don't, I just like anything about the Model S, I love it, but it's big, and I like smaller cars. I like the intimate feel of a smaller interior, and this car basically is like a super electric BMW 3 Series. It's just the right size, and it, it's just yes. an incredible acceleration, really tight handling. I really, I love it. Yes. I, I, and, and you have to stop letting me drive it or else I'm going to go into no, debt and buy ahead. one for myself. <laughs> <laughs> go for it. Hey, listen, it would be worth my trip. I know. So um, we're going to go back. We're going to go back soon. And then we're going to take a look at uh, the uh, Honda Clarity. Yeah 
very nice car very interesting car i, I owned many hundreds i owned probably any car